welcome to the Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. Today is November 6, 2019, and I'm super excited because we're gonna start another stitch along, and I always love when we're doing stitch alongs because then I can stitch along with you and I don't have to talk as much. But we have this brand new pattern. It's by Lori Holt. It is called Bringing Home the Tree, and it is, this is part, this is in one of her quilt books, and it's one of her, um, I guess it got a lot of attention on social media and a lot of people really liked it because it's vintage and obviously that's what Lori's known for. So she um, turned it into a cross stitch and I just want to brag a little bit on their, oop, it's color. So really nice and we show, we list DMC and we list RF Floss colors which makes it really nice. And so this stitch along is going to start next week. So we're going to do a little pop up. And so basically we're gonna start next week and we're gonna start on the very bottom. And so November 13th, we're gonna work on that bottom row. The next week we're gonna work on the, what's that called, station wagon. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna skip a week because it's Thanksgiving. And so that is great because if you get behind, you can catch up. And then, then we're gonna do some pine trees the next week. And then the next week is December 11th. And so then you can be, we're gonna space it out so you can get it finished just in time for Christmas. And we have, if you wanna do R floss, we have an R floss thread pack. And we have a DMC thread pack. And now I'm gonna talk about the fabric because we have never shown this kind of fabric before. This is fabric flare. It is white silver 14 count Ada, and I'm gonna show it to you um, in person. So this is my little kitted bag that I'm ready for. So I've got my Bloomtopia bag, my new Bloomtopia charm, and my needle minder. And I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about the fabric. So this is the way I kit up all of my things. I have my floss flowers already done. This is an extra skein, but I kind of just throw it all in there. But let's talk about the fabric a little bit. Lori wanted something that had a sparkle to it. So this is fabric flare. You get a big piece and it is two-sided. So on this side, can you, it's not really, okay. Okay, there you go. See the little sparkle? There's like glitter. There you go. It's spray glitter and it's only on one side. So some of you might love this and some of you might not because the glitter does come off. So that is what Lori stitched hers on. I'm super excited to use it and the glitter won't bother me because the face wash that I use has glitter in it, don't ask why. And so when I, I always have glitter on my hands. I think I use glitter to make myself feel young. I don't know why it has glitter, but it's my favorite um, because you can, the reason I like that face wash is because you don't have to have water. If you're just in a hurry, you can just like that. So this is how Lori's looks. It's so pretty. So the best thing about this pattern is it fits in a frame, eight by 10, eight by 10 inch frame that you can get at Hobby Lobby so you don't have to have it custom framed. So she finished this and this frame is from Hobby Lobby and the link to the frame is in the description box below. And then all of the decor at the top was from Hobby Lobby. The only thing that she did different, or that she did, is she made this out of her Farm Girl Vintage gingham, and it's just on a covered button. And on the back, she used that same fabric and just put the fabric over a little piece of poster board. And they just put that on the back so it's pretty on the front and the back and she does not have glass that's usually a question that we get a lot is there's no glass in it and she stitched hers with dmc i know we'll get that question also she actually use usually uses our floss but on this one she used dmc so super excited to stitch along and also one of the things that i'm super excited about is anytime that we do a stitch along with Lori, you'll always change the colors and so I'm curious if we're gonna see, I think, I mean, I was born in the 70s, so I remember these cars, but they used to be like a lot of aqua ones on the road. Um, so I'm thinking some people might do aqua and then 
I don't know what color their snowflakes would be. But anyway, I'm super excited and I hope that you guys will stitch along with me. Everything is available now. And she also has her stitch cards C coming out soon. So let me know if you have any questions on any of this. Um, I, I think y'all will probably have questions on the fabric. Oh, and on the fabric, another thing is the glitter. It's a spray glitter and it's on one side of the fabric. So there is a right side and a wrong side. And if you don't want glitter, you would just get, you know, Ada or linen, or you could stitch it on her 10 count Daisy, which is her white, which we have in stock and it's right here. So if you wanted to do it on 10 count, it would end up much bigger, but you could use that or you could use, you know, just any white Ada. So let me know if y'all have any questions. Yeah, we had a lot of people excited about the glitter, but concerned about it coming off. Yeah, it does come off. So I just want to be totally transparent and honest about that. Uh, and yeah. then uh, Gigi Odom actually uh, had kind of a solution. She said you can possibly spray the cloth with a, with a fixative to keep the glitter from coming off. I okay, I don't know what you're going to... What is the fixative? Gigi, tell me what that is. Yes, Gigi, help us out here. Yeah, Gigi, tell me. Help a girl out. Because <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, because if you had the name, then we could like try it. In a, like if you told me the name, I could try it in like a little section. And then we could tell everybody next week if it works or not. Um, and so another great thing is on Monday, we got all of Lori's vintage cloth. We have her old ones back in stock and some new ones. So this is Daisy. And it's obvious, it's just white. Just white, but people love white. This is oatmeal, which of course we've had before. And um, yeah, sorry. I was wondering. And then this is another oatmeal. This one is buttermilk. And so this one is, it really does look like pancakes. <laughs> Or my pancakes, because mine are never cooked all the way. <laughs> um, and then this is Heritage. So these are the new colors. Heritage is new. And so she, Lori wanted something much primitive. I guess a, more of a primitive color. So that she could do some more primitive things. And so this is that color. This is the one that I'm the most excited about. It is Blackboard. And I'm super excited. In a little bit, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to do with it. So I'll set it aside. And then this is my um, this is my favorite from the new ones. It's farmhouse. So if you compare, like heritage is here, farmhouse, and then oatmeal. You can see the range. Oatmeal's the middle. Heritage is here, and then burlap would be even darker. So she's got a big range. So if that helps you see kind of how, but these are all back, either back in stock or um, new. So I'm super excited because now I want to get back to 10 count because it's so much easier. And let me tell you the 16 and 18 count. No, I'm, I'm done. I did my, I did, I did my dues on that. Um, so um, we are doing a giveaway on the vintage cloth. So what we're going to do is if you go to FQS X stitch on Facebook or Instagram, all the information is there. And what we're challenging you to is what would you, if you had one of these colors, what color would you use and what pattern would you stitch? And then we're going to pick a winner and um, we're going to pick a winner from all the entries from su Sunday, November 10th. And then we're going to announce the winner and then they get to win what they picked. So if you wanted to stitch, let's say blackboard with stitch card C, you would win both of those items. And um, we're going to have one winner from Instagram and one winner from Facebook. And I'm super excited about that because we want to get back to kitting some things. So if you have some great ideas, maybe we'll put a kit together. And what I'm going to do, Lily's going to pop up stitch card C real quick. And on that, I'm going to stitch on Blackboard. So last week, I thought I was so cute. And I said, oh, I'm going to stitch on this white for my club. And someone commented, oh, how's the white gonna show up? Well, I thought the white was just an accent because I obviously wasn't paying attention and the snowman, so the snowman wouldn't show up. So she was totally right. And so I was like, well, what should I stitch it on? And Lori said, you should stitch it on black. And then Monday when I came to work, this showed up and I was like, here we go. So I'm gonna stitch all of these on black 
using the same DMC colors that Lori used. And this pattern set is going to be released in December. And the reason, um, I'm gonna do mine where I do four. So I'm gonna do them in a section of four. And then um, that's what I'm gonna do. So I obviously um, came to my senses and realized um, that the snowman would not look, I mean, that's so ridiculous. That's, that's called Kimberly not thinking. So um, that's my plan. So let me know if you have any questions on the giveaway or anything like that before I keep going, because I have so much stuff, guys, this week. Okay, yes, uh, first of all, Gigi Odom said, uh, Krylon makes a fixative spray. I think I know what she's talking about. We used to use it in art school for like photos and stuff. Okay, um, so maybe Denise can run to Michael's and get that. We obviously aren't gonna sell that. Anything like that, um, we just don't sell because we don't want it to explode. But we can try it and then tell you guys if we think it works. Um, and we had a lot of people saying that they too like glitter on their faces, but one comment that stood out to me was from Lillian Bollinger who said, my eight year old daughter says that when she sweats, she sweats glitter. Oh, that's funny. And that's amazing. Yeah, no, I, um, so the, the, I'm gonna tell you about my face wash. It's by Charlotte Tillsbury and it drives me crazy because you can only buy it in a set of two and one is like something I don't use. But basically, it's great for when I'm at a dance convention because I always forget something. And basically, you can put it on and it doesn't burn your eyes or anything. And it will take all your eye makeup off in about two seconds. But it leaves glitter. And so when I first started using it, I was like, why do I have glitter everywhere? And then I tried not to use it. I was like, oh, you know, because I didn't want to waste my money and buy the other thing. Because you can't just buy it on its own. I think you can if you're at the mall and go up to them. But I never go to the mall. And so I tried to like do without it, and then I was like, no, I gotta have it. Anyway. All right, um, and from uh, Diona Payne, she says, I just ordered Farmhouse and was wondering about the color. Can you compare it to Buttermilk and White, please? Yes. Yes, I can. This is so fun. Okay, so she's gonna zoom down so I don't so I'm gonna put it where you can see the name. This is Farmhouse. This is Daisy. I'm gonna actually go this way. Daisy's easiest to see. And this is Buttermilk. So tell me if that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really, I really am so excited this came back in because um, I've had so many requests for it and I cannot wait to get back to basic. And I'm gonna, I haven't figured out um, how to stitch in hand with 10 count, but let me tell you, now that this is back, I'm gonna figure it out. Somehow, some way. All right, um, Kristen Morris is asking, any chance there will be a floss club? We have a floss club. Okay. It's gonna open back up probably in like November, December, um, we're just, yeah, it's gonna open back up. It's called the Floss Fix. Uh, Angela Stoutenberg says, will there be a DMC thread set for stitch cards set C? Yes, and it will be in stock later this week. We're waiting on one skein to show up. So it will be online either Friday or Monday or Tuesday, but yes. And I'm gonna use the same exact colors and then, yeah. And Angie Danilovich says, when will Red Petit Point be in? End of next week. End of next week. Yay! Okay, so I have some finishes. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot this. Here's my little kit for stitch cards. And it's got Piggy! So, Dot Dot Gosh. Goose Design made this for me. So I sent her a lot of fabric. And um, she's gonna make me bags with some of the fabric and then the um, from each of the fabrics and then each, the leftover she's gonna sell the fabric, I mean the bags online. So if you, she doesn't have this one on her site yet, but if you want a piggy bag, just email her. She should have plenty of fabric. But yes, I'm gonna, I need another piggy bag. I'm so excited. And look, it matches my black. I'm so excited, y'all have no idea that I have. And then she puts her little label right here so I have this all kitted up. The only thing I haven't, and these are the colors. I, the only thing I haven't done is I haven't put them on the 
floss flowers yet. So I'm gonna do that soon. And then I have some finishes, so super excited. I went to the framer and this is spring has sprung. So I finished this in the fall, the spring, the fall, the spring. This is by Country Cottage Needleworks. And I had stitched mine on Lamb's Wool 14 count, and I kind of wanted mine to look as similar to hers as possible, so I didn't change any of the colors. And I tried to get a frame at the frame store that was similar because I loved what she had done. And this one took me about 13 hours. So it took a while, but I'm super excited that I have this one framed. And then I got, Kevin and I were cracking up because I got this one back. And he re this is the one he likes the best, which probably because he's born in October. And this is also Country Cottage Needleworks, part of their Cottage of the Month series. And I bought the frame. We're going to carry a couple of these different ones in our store, and they just have to be custom made. So we just have to wait for them to be made. And um, Kevin cracked up because he was like, well, you have all these months, but you don't have any of the months that we're actually in. And I was like, yeah, eventually we will. <laughs> so I got that done. And my framer does a really nice job because they put this back here. So I don't ever have to worry about the, the thing in the And they put little dots. And then this was one of my favorite patterns that has come out recently. It's Autumn Skies by Hands on Design. And I just love this. And I loved both of the designs. So this is the first one. And this one only took me about five hours. And this little felt that's in here was from the pattern. And then I just got a Lori Holt button from my stash and put that on there. Now, I, ha I use glass, so you can see if the glass, yeah, see, you can see the glass. And my framer put spacers in, so it doesn't smush anything. So I got that one done. And then this one I struggled with in the store trying to find a frame because I wanted the frame on this one to be different so that I could put them next to each other and it wouldn't be too matchy matchy. And I actually like how it came out. I was super nervous when I went to pick it up because um, Emma picked it and I was like, oh, I don't know. So I'm um, super excited about that. And this one only took me about six hours. So you can see that like from spring has sprung that I made in the spring, I was much slower. So I'm getting faster. So that's awesome. So I'm super excited to have some things finished. So um, let me know if you'll have any questions on anything that I finished before I keep going, because then I won't get so confused on the questions. Yeah, uh, we had some questions um, about some things we talked about previously. Uh, Janet Gorsuch says, will there be an announcement in the newsletter when Floss Fix opens up again? We will just talk about it on, we will just talk about it on here, and we would probably put it on social media. All of that thread is hand dyed. So if we, there's no way if we put it in our newsletter, we would be able to keep up with the demand. So we're just working, um, you know, to be able to get more. Um, it's different than like DMC where you can just buy it from this huge company. You know, it's somebody actually hand dyeing it and hand carding it. And so it's harder to keep up with demand like that. Uh, Kathy Lloyd says, on bringing home the tree, is the aura floss the same as colors in B Basics colors? Because I already have that set. Um, I think there's probably some crossover, um, but not 100%. But you could totally use that box and just change your colors. Like, I'm all about reusing and, and um, not having to buy new stuff. So I would just use what's in your box and just, um, just you know, get a similar. Because I think there's enough colors in that box to do that pattern. And Don Brinker says, do you know when you will get more 25 count oatmeal back in? Yes, it should be soon. Um, we got, uh, the last update I had was November 15th coming to Riley Blake. So if it came to Riley Blake around November 15th, then, then they would like have to check it in and then ship it back out. So I would say around Thanksgiving, um, first week of December. And, and I need some too. So I'm, I'm all on that date looking because <laughs> I need some also. Uh -huh. And that's what she stitched her stitch cards on. So we're hoping that that comes in before the stitch cards come out. Sorry, Lily. Oh, you're fine. 
uh, from Raw Payton. Would you consider adding some other counts to the Linen Club? Uh, no, our Linen Club has not sold well at all, and I think it's because people just love Ada, and I mean, so it hasn't sold well enough for us to be able to do that. Um, but maybe one day when people like get used to it, because a lot of the people who are just getting back into it, like. You know, they're just kind of getting back into it and they're starting with Ada. But I mean, we try to have, if there's like a specific color or specific size you want, um, you can just call us and if we can get it, we'll get it. Okay. And from Sandy Rocks, will there be more colors of Lori's Lugana? I think, yes, she's working on that, but I, I wouldn't say, for, I would say it'd be six months out um, or something like that. I mean, she's in the process of working on that, but she's in the very early stages, so um, it wouldn't be quick but she is working on it. And from Doc Doc Goose Design, uh, she says she has enough piggy fabric and that she's going to put it on her Etsy shop later today. So Yay! shout out to Doc Doc Goose. Yeah, I'm so excited. And Donna Winkler says, October skies, Kimberly, what fabric did you use uh, colorway? Um, can you hand me my, it's in there. No, in there. I'm pretty sure I used, yeah, it's, it's in that bag. Sorry. The white box. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Witchell white chocolate 14 count. Yes. This is why it's in here because, yeah, I have two of these going. And so um, the only way, let me see. The only way I can show the difference between the two because I'm working on so many things is one doesn't have a sticker on the front and then my new one is has a sticker on the front so that's how i know like which one because i'm still working on old and new but that's honestly the only way i can remember anything like that because i use so many things um and from lisa collins can you tell me when we pay for the bloomtopia chart and how do we get on the list to receive the pattern as it comes out thanks so bloomtopia is right over here. Let me grab it. So just so everybody knows what we're talking about, this is Bloomtopia. This is going to be our charity stitch along for 2020. It is going to be a free download. So starting February 1st through June, every two weeks, we are gonna release a free chart. And when we release it, there will be a link to make a wish, which actually we have the link now, we can post it. And we're trying to raise $50,000 for make a wish. So it's gonna be a free chart, completely free. We're just hoping, we came up with a suggested $15. Um, if you wanted to donate to make a wish, $15, that would be great. If you can do more, that's great. If you can do less, that's great. Even if it's a dollar, it all goes straight to make a wish, never touches my hands. Um, and Kevin and I will be donating $10,000. Moda Fabrics will also be donating $10,000. I stitched this on 25 count pewter Lugana. And we are going to have thread sets. And we have the bag. So we have a bag to put your stuff in. We have a little enamel charm and we have a needle minder. I'm gonna tell you a little story about the needle minder. So when I go to dance conventions, which I don't go to as much anymore, but, but I have this needle minder and I have it on the outside so that when I'm stitching, it's in my lap. So say like I'm stitching, I keep this in my lap and I keep it face up and then I can put my needle on it when I'm stitching. Then imagine me walking through the hotel and then it just falls off. So I found this part but for some reason, I never found the other part because I had it on the outside of my purse. Like I have a little purse. And I don't know if like it flung in the air. I don't know, I don't know. And I wasn't even walking fast. So just be careful if you have it on your bag that you don't know, lose the magnet on the inside. Yeah, so I just use it and that's how I've been using it is um, just keeping it on the outside of my bag so that I remember where my needle is because otherwise I can't tell you how many needles Kevin has said through our marriage whether it be binding needles, cross stitch needles, or sewing machine needles. One time it went in his foot and I was, he was, I was in trouble. I think that was a pin though. I try not to, but I mean, you know, we all. 
Yes, yeah, so Bloomtopia is just for charity and we're selling stuff to go along with it. Um, but yeah, the pattern will be completely free. Okay. Uh, from Margaret Ellerick, she says, has the blue fabric for Snow Village restocked yet? Uh, no, we're working on, we have it on order. And so we can have a date for you next week. Um, that comes to us on a bolt and then we cut it up. And I know we've ordered it, so it should be, you know, the company's pretty fast. So when we get it, we will cut it up that same day and put it online. From Mary Hoochin, can you order whisper floss like for Santa's beard? I don't know, we can look into it and see. Okay. And then Deborah Swan had another suggestion. She said, what about hairspray to keep the glitter on the fabric? Oh, that would stink. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about my daughter. Okay, so she, okay, she has been growing her hair out. She had bangs, like bangs. And it is taking forever. And so it's like right here still. It's, she's been growing it out for a lot, like a year. She puts so much hairspray for it to sit down that my car stinks. And so her, her dance bag and her backpack, they just stink. So I told her, I was like, I'm gonna take those backpacks over the Christmas holiday. And I'm gonna take those to like a dry cleaner to get that hairspray out because it's disgusting. Sorry, I don't. I just went off on a tangent, but yeah, I don't. I wouldn't. I don't think I would put hairspray on that fabric. Some people really like the smell of hairspray, so it's. That would be Lily, I think. I don't. She, no, not you me. You don't. No, I just. Uh, I know people Denise like. Denise says dance she likes it. Oh, Denise likes it. There you go. Ugh. <laughs> uh, Stitching with the sister Lee says, "Is Lugana and Monaco Ada or linen?" It is an even weave, and so it's like a linen, but it's even weave, and it's really. It's the only. Um, I wouldn't stitch on linen because for me, I'm a little OCD and even, I'm a, I'm a lot OCD and linen is not even. And so for me, also for my eyesight, but Lugana is super easy and 25 count is super nice. Um, I've had really good luck with 25 count Lugana and 14 count and 10 count. I have some stuff I'm gonna show you guys that I'm working on right now that's 16 and 18 count. And I'm doing it because they're bigger pieces and I don't want them to be so huge on the wall that there's nowhere for me to put them. But it's been a struggle. Um, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't enjoy it as much because it's just harder and I don't have the best, I don't have good eyesight at all. So um, I wanna get back to like easier stuff. All right, I'm from Rebecca Scheller. Will the Bloomtopia be available as a complete pattern at some point? Yes, at the very end, the very last chart in June will be the whole chart. And it'll stay online forever. It will never take it away. Um, and then we always raise money every year for Make-A-Wish. So like if somebody downloads it in three years, we would change the link to the new Make-A-Wish site to keep raising money. So I'm gonna show you, show you guys some things that I've been stitching on because I have a lot of finishes. I have been so busy, guys. This is Mary Charcoal. I'm so excited about it. So this is Hands on Design, Kathy Haberman and Priscilla Blaine. So Priscilla draws the chalkboard and then Kathy converts it to a chart. And I'm in the club and I, I'm gonna look up how long this took me because I wanna know. It took me, let's see what this says. Nineteen and a half hours. So, can you show the two pop-ups? I'm gonna mm -hmm. talk about my my. Okay, so the other one first. Sorry, there we go. So on. So what I decided to do is on the last two chalkfuls, I felt like my floss looked messy when I went vertical. No, horizontal. So I decided, let me try vertical, and I used two strands of the really tealy instead of one. And so I started on one side on Saturday night and then I was like, I'm getting a little bored. So then I started on the next side. And um, so then I was like, okay, that's looking really good. I also like felt like it was coming together. And so um, those are my pop-ups. And then I finished this on Monday. And I think it looks really good. I'm gonna send it to Priscilla to finish. I haven't even asked her, but I'm hoping that she's watching and will text <laughs> me that that would be okay. Um, I'm not sure how I would finish it. I, yeah, but it's, it's really cute. Now, the one thing I was gonna tell you guys, oh yeah, I was gonna look at my notes. 
one of the things I was there was a couple things that I did so I did the two strands up and down I do like the look better but when I did my other chalk folds and I stitched you know this way I had plenty of floss left over when I finished this I literally had this much floss left over because I guess going up and down is not as thread efficient as going left to right or I don't know what I'm doing so I would just say if you're gonna do it my way just be a little careful because um, I was really freaking out because I was thinking oh we got to make this thread we got to make it make it last so I'm super excited I got that done and then a lot of you guys have been asking about our club so our club is full but we have leftover kits that we have put online so we put the very first one which was harvest mm -hmm. and um, that's online as a kit this is boo which is the pumpkins mm -hmm. and that's online and then Mary so if you miss the being in the club for Mary you can now buy it as a kit now if you want to join the club for a future one you can but for these it's all sold out mm -hmm. so that is my first two finishes my next two are going to be pop-ups so November I took that to the framer and I used the frame by Family Tree Frame Company and again we're buying some for the store I had I had incorrectly sent you guys to their website thinking they sold retail and they don't so I'm really sorry that I gave you all that wrong information so we're going to sell some of these and so I dropped this off and I'm super excited that I got that finished and um, it's funny because that's gonna be back but I don't think it's gonna be back early enough for me to display it for November so that's great so, but I'm super excited that I dropped that off so that was my first one and then my next one that I dropped off was another hands-on design that I love. This is an older pattern. I'm not sure what year it was released. And on this one, I changed my fabric and my floss. So I'm gonna tell you the changes that I made real quick. And of course, it's not in this book. So let me look at my other book real quick because I did make a lot of changes. And I did want to, um, I love the way she did the pillow and that little trim. I think it looks awesome. I just don't think that I um, I could make it look that nice so I decided to get it framed so on this one actually I use the same threads except for color 161 I just use the orange in the pattern instead of it it's a blue and then 451 I changed to 646 so she's got some really beautiful up in here really beautiful blues and purples I would say it's or it's a bluish purple and I don't have that in my house so I just made those changes and I stitched on cafe mocha country and it took me about nine hours so I'm gonna pick this up a couple weeks so that's super exciting so let me know if you'll have any questions on that and I will answer them Okay, Priscilla and Chelsea say, send it. I'd love to finish it. And she put hearts. Yay, because I get, I'm like at the point where I've sent so much stuff to Priscilla that I'm like embarrassed. Like it's almost embarrassing. But um, I'm trying to, see, I'm, I'm framing some stuff. Stephanie Metz says, how long does the club last? I think she's asking about chalk folds. So there should be six. Priscilla, fix, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's six. So we've done three. There's Boo, Mary, Harvest. And then there's a Liberty, which is going to be the last one. And that was released from to a retreat like last summer. And so some people, if you've seen it on social media, they're the only ones that have it. So nobody else has it because that was their like freebie for going to the retreat. So I do know there's a Liberty. And then the other two, I don't know. I don't know the themes. I haven't seen them. So um, I'm not sure, but I'm excited. Christine T says, will Lori's new fabric come in 14 count? No. She's gonna do, she's gonna focus on 10 count vintage cloth and 25 count Lugana for now. Now that doesn't mean that in a year or in six months she will have it. Um, I Obviously she's, she might be in the chat to answer. I don't wanna like tell you wrong, but as of right now, I don't know of any. And I do talk to her like almost every day. So 
um, seven chock full. Seven chock full. Sorry. See, I told you all wrong. Oh. We should just keep it going forever. <laughs> yes. And then we next should. year we'll have snowmen. And then we'll have elves. Yes. Okay. Uh, Ilse Roja says, "What count of Lugana is similar to Ada? Eighteen count. Do you guys know?" Yes. We're gonna do the math real quick. Okay. Eighteen count would be. 18 count. 18 count Lugana, but I don't think that exists. I only know of like... 36 count? 36 count. Look, Lily. Oh, Lily. Oh, Go, Lily. Yeah. 18 times 2, 36. 36. Sorry. Right? Yeah. Lily. Look, Lily beat Denise and I both. <laughs> she doesn't even stitch and she knew. Oh. Sorry. I, I think in Lugana, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know much about it. I just... The only reason I even tried it was because Lori did it. And she was like, no, you really can do it. You can do it. So I've only tried the 25 count. Okay. From Cynthia Connolly, I've had some communication from customer service. Thanks, Deborah. About 16 count fabric flare fabric. Any update on when, if you will get it? Should be in this week. Okay. So, um, and if it's not loaded this week, it will be next week. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, Dorothy Phelps says, hi everyone, wanted to know if Snow Village, if the Snow Village pattern is available yet. Yes, Snow Village Part 1 and Snow Village Part 2 are both online and that's our next section. So I'll just start. Okay, so if you're in our linen club, this is what you would have got and Cheryl finished her section. I did ask her how long it took and Cheryl um, didn't count. She doesn't count like me. She's not OCD like me. So she finished this in a week, so it looks really nice. So if, and if you're in our club, and she's stitching this separately, and we, our club spots did open up, so if you want to join either the Linen or the Ada, you can. So this is Cheryl, so she's finished hers, which is, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And I have not started mine, but I'll show you mine. I haven't started haven't started it yet but it's mine's gonna be one big piece and it's gonna go here and this is 18 count mm -hmm. and this is um, and this is the one that I'm struggling with the most I'm using my halo go light and um, it, it helps but there would be zero chance I could do it without that and I, I'm gonna leave all my I'm leaving all my backstitch and what do you call oh uh, French knots to the very very end so I'll probably st I might not start this week we'll see I have a lot um, other stuff but I am and the reason I did 18 count on this one is I want to do it on one big piece and I don't hang anything on the walls in my house so everything goes on easels just like this like an easel or um, just prop it against the wall and so I didn't want anything too ginormous now if it was going on the wall it could be totally big I um, I don't know that's one thing Kevin and I have in common we just don't put things on the wall mm -hmm. except that he somehow lets our kids put stuff on the wall and they're like daddy said and I'm like oh we're gonna take that stuff down they literally tape to the wall with tape <gasps> like tape I'm like I just I finally just decided with my children that they could um, I'm just not gonna say anything it's just gonna be upstairs it's just gonna be a mess and it's okay and I'm just gonna never I'm just gonna ignore the thick taped NBA stuff to the wall <laughs> and yesterday was Christopher's birthday he oh. is now nine confetti candy for Christmas yay, yay. Yeah, he's so cute. And then, oh, I'm so bad. So he loves the 76ers. We're in Texas. I'm not sure how that happened. My other son, who likes basketball, one of them doesn't like basketball. He likes the Golden State Warriors. So I've got one that, and I'm like, Rockets, Spurs, but I don't like sports. So, but he, so he really wanted this hoodie because his brother got a Seattle Seahawks hoodie. So he wanted a 76ers hoodie. Well, I bought it. And he was so mad at me, and I feel so bad because it was like the one thing. Anyway, I reordered it, and it should arrive today. Oh. I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna fix this." You know, you feel bad because that was like his big gift was like this big hoodie. So, whatever. Uh, Lori Holt says, "Kimberly, I have 14 count Ada and oatmeal in your shop. 
Oh, um, I'm sorry. She does. Oh, sorry. Yes, thank you, Lori. <laughs> um, and let's see. Oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm not gonna call you today. I'm gonna. Oh my. God. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. Okay, JJ Odom says, do you prefer to keep several projects going at once or do you feel more productive to do one at a time until it's finished? So I like to do a lot at one time, but I give myself goals and I do that with quilting also. So um, I do a little bit like one day I will do one, the other day I'll do another, the other day I'll do another. And so for Snow Village, I wanna get a couple things that I have going wrapped up or further along and then I'm gonna go to Snow Village. But yes, I like to have a lot of things going on in all aspects of my life. Like I have a lot of kids. I have a lot of like, my kids are in like 10 things. Like I got a lot of stuff going on. There's not one day that I don't just, that it's not just chaos. Like we have to have two birthday celebrations for Christopher because our life is so chaos because not all of the children could be at one dinner. That's how you know you have a lot of kids. <laughs> Tina Rutten says, did Kimberly mention why the background threads are all yellow green now? Sorry if it's redundant. I've been on vacay for several weeks. Okay, tell me again. Uh, if the background threads are all yellow green. Oh, I think she means your, the set. The, the set. Oh. It's because right now we're seeing the Oh, we can change it. I was it. thinking about that. I don't love the yellow green, so we might just change that to pink and aqua down yeah, there. Yeah, there's a lot of colors. Yeah, we're going to switch that top. We're going to switch around this yellow because that's, yeah. Uh, we're going to switch that up. It looks nice behind you. But oh, yeah. that yellow, three yellows? I don't know. Three is my, <laughs> this, is my, this is my least favorite color in the world is green, so that probably shouldn't be. It's front and center. It's all right. <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay. Um, Rebecca Scheller says, what do you feel is the brightest white in DMC floss? 5200, right? B5200. B5, and on that, I will say, for example, sometimes I will put that floss on my fabric and I'm like, ooh, that clashes. It does not look good. And then I would try, this was very recent, I would try the white or the blanc and it looked cream. And then I would go to the white. So sometimes even though that looks really bright on your fabric, it looks really good when it's stitched. Um, and from Tracy Vasquez, if we join the Snow Village Club now, will we get the charts going forward or the whole thing, including fabric and thread? You will get part one and part two now. And the way that we set up that club is in the first month, you get the fabric and the thread and the first pattern. And then going forward, you just get the pattern. And that's why we're sold out of the fabric because we opened more spots in our club. So they went to the club. So we are doing a stitch along. It is um, hashtag FQS Christmas alphabet. And so this is the pattern. It is a prairie schooler pattern. It was released in, I'm gonna look at the pattern, I'm gonna look at the inside. 1997. So I graduated college that year. This is the pattern. Denise says she was two. I was three. Oh my goodness, y'all are so young. And so Cheryl is stitching this with her, now she's gonna stitch hers horizontally and she's using fabric from her stash. Oh no, she's not. She's using Historic Beige by Fabric Flare. So she's already trimmed her fabric down and she is gonna use the called for colors and she is going to stitch hers horizontally. So this way. And so she got her A done and then I'm gonna put mine on top so you can see the difference. Now I'm doing mine horizontally on chalk, vertically, <laughs> I'm horizontally and vertically challenged apparently. Aww. So vertically, and I started at the bottom and I put together my own colors. I'm stitching on Wichell 16 count chalkboard black and I put together my own colors and I have a thread pack for that. And this is the fabric flare that Cheryl is using. It is 32 count. So super excited. Now Priscilla and Chelsea are also gonna stitch along with us. And so is Lori. So Lori's gonna start today. And Priscilla and Chelsea have their charts. And so we're just want we just wanna show you a different way to do it. You know, you can stitch on white or black, call for colors, your own colors, vertically, horizontally, make your own. Obviously Cheryl Smart, she started at the top and I started at the <laughs> bottom. And then I was getting a little concerned that, um, that I was gonna put the, the, the letters in the wrong order because it's hard to go backwards 
And then I put together a chart to keep me on track so that I can be done by December 25th. So I have to work on it a little bit each day. So super excited. So I hope you guys join me on that. And um, it is taking me a lot longer to do each one because I'm working on 16 count, which is re on black. Ooh, double whammy. So let me know if you have any questions on that, and then I'm going to show you the other stuff I'm working on because I'm working on so much stuff. Oops. So this is what I'm working on. This is a brand new pattern called Away We Go from Country Cottage Needleworks. And this is where I'm at. So I've been working on this like crazy. And Lily's going to do a little pop-up. And so this is kind of my method that I came up with from Priscilla. I didn't come up with it. I just stole her idea. But basically, just starting with the outline of the house and then kind of going from there and then, you know, fill in your windows, do your door. And then now all of that space is just straight up brown. So you can see that from there now I'm just filling in the brown. So when I go to the doctor or I'm in the carpool line or I'm you know, at basketball or baseball, which just ended, I can just fill in. So um, thank you, Priscilla, for teaching me that. So I worked on that, that is a ton. And then, that is mine. So kind of on this one, my goal is to just finish this house this week. So that, you know, like I said, I have goals. So that's my goal for this week. I actually am ahead of my goal because my goal was to get to here this week. And I actually got all the way to here. So now I'm going to just finish this one. And my goal for the ABC is to do three or four more by next week. And this is Denise's. And Denise and I both um, are really having fun doing this one. And what we both said is, oh my gosh, it's so much bigger than we thought. Mm -hmm. And it is. And she's using the called for colors and the same as me. So, and she's, look, she's got it together. She's exact hers. And then Cheryl started. Tiny Modernist has a brand new pattern called Christmas Calendar. It is so cute and I want to make it. I just don't think I'm going to be able to fit it in. But this is like the cutest pattern ever. That's so and we cute. put together kits. Denise put together kits for you guys. And this is your kit. It comes with a needle even. And the fabric. The fabric's at the bottom. And Cheryl is stitching hers. Now this is the one she's stitching from her stash. She's stitching from on the fabric from her stash. Now she's using the called for threads and I want you to zoom into that little 25 because this is like the prettiest thread. Look how pretty that is. It just makes me want to just like do it. And look, she even zigzagged her, her fabric. Ooh. So pretty. So I think she's going to do the same thing as she did with her Halloween. So we can look forward to, and then she did it backwards again, because she's probably gonna do 25 days to Christmas, 24 days to Christmas, so she's starting backwards. So there's that. And then I wanted to show you two bags that I got from Dot Dot Goose Design. We had sent her some fabric, but I think these are ones we didn't send her fabric for, but she's selling these in her site. So if you like these, you can go get some. Oh, so cute. I just have to find a project to put in there. So she's on Etsy. So thank you, Denise, for making them. And then she even does the zipper pulls. Now let me tell you, these are hard to do. <laughs> I think I would rather make a bag than a zipper pull any day. And so one is this is Cozy Christmas, and this is Classic Santa. And those are the names um, of the bags in her shop. And then we have some new stuff. I'll show you some new stuff. So. We have thread packs for Priscilla and Chelsea that they put together. This is Be Mary. This is the one that keeps selling out. I am so sorry, guys. It keeps selling out. Um, we're working with Classic Color Works to just get the, you know, as soon as they get the thread, as soon as they can make it, we make packs. So there's that. And then Pumpkin Spice. And all of these were hand selected by Priscilla and Chelsea. And this one, is so pretty old glory and so they're gonna use these as a way to just have packs that have a theme and then when they pick up for example like a pumpkin pattern 
or a fall pattern, they can just use their pack. Or if they have a patriotic pattern, they can use their pack. Or if there's a Christmas pattern, they just use their pack because they always change the colors. That's kind of what they're known for. So um, it just makes it easy for them to just have packs. And then you guys had asked them apparently on their video to put together finishing fabrics. So a finishing fabric would be used for something like this, where you need a finishing fabric. So this is your cross stitch piece. This is your fabric. And you know, a lot of their finishes, everything matches their house. So a lot of their finishes look the same and you guys apparently love what they do. So we put together some packs. We have, now the way these packs are gonna work is, fabric is not like cross stitch where it stays in print forever. Fabric comes, fabric goes, fabric comes, fabric goes. A lot of the companies, the way that if you're a cross stitcher, this might not be something you know, but like with um, fabric, usually they will print the fabric collection one time. So we order it and when it's gone, it's gone. So these packs will probably rotate and change and um, over time, they're not gonna be able to stay consistent. I'm gonna start with the first one. This is the Halloween finishing bundle. And this is the one we have the least amount of. But we're gonna have more next week. One of the vendors, um, their box of fabric got delayed. And we decided to do half yards so that you would have enough. But these are just things that Priscilla and Chelsea both handpicked. So that is their Halloween. And there, if you just search finishing bundle, that's what we, sorry, that's what we did. Okay, and then this is Christmas, Christmas finishing bundle. And so we have, we have about a hundred of these others. And then as fabrics sell out, what we'll do is just try to either find a replacement or just start a whole new bundle. We'll just kind of play it by ear. So that's Christmas. And then this one is farmhouse. This is the one that I love the best, even though I don't decorate in farmhouse in any way. So I'm like, none of this even matches my house, but I like it. It's okay to like things that don't match your house, I guess. Look at that. It's a Americana. So lots of um, chicken wire stripe. That would look so pretty behind a piece. Lots of plaids. You know, they use lots of plaids, lots of dots. So we have a lot of stuff that's new. And you guys requested this, so they were so nice to put these together for us. And then we have some new patterns. These are both as far as, as far as Denise and I know, these are new designers. So these are, this is Little Stitch Girl and her logo is super cute. So I'm just gonna kinda, this is my favorite happy fall y'all. We found her on Facebook or Instagram? YouTube. YouTube, sorry. And her YouTube is Basic Stitches. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. We should have taken them out of the bag. We didn't think, I didn't think these would glare because of the plastic, but they do. So she has some super cute stuff and it's different. So there's hers, new designer. I want to support new people. This is Pedal Pusher. And she's got like kind of a farm theme going with a, um, I don't know like a little farm theme going with a little bit of a novelty kicked in. It's the way I would describe mm -hmm. it in my head. This one is my favorite. And I think this is the one we saw and how we found her. And then this one, this next one's gonna just crack me up. It's probably gonna be the best seller. A flying pig. So those are some new designers that we've got. And then I wanted to tell you about something that I found and we emailed Jardin Privé. And um, I saw this and thought, this is awesome. And so we emailed 
the designer of Jardin Privé and asked her for permission to link to this. This is a free stitch along that she is doing on her site. So you have to go to her site each week for five weeks to get this information. It's um, free. It starts November 2nd and it goes to the 29th. A new part will be released each Saturday and we have the link below directly to her site. It's a free stitch along and if you turn it around, this, we just printed this straight from her site, you will see that she's doing it in five parts. So this is, she shows you the layout, the stitch count, and then in English, all of the information. And the way that she's stitching hers is monochromatic. So she's just suggesting that you pick a color. So I thought what would be really cute is if you use chalk thread and put it on Lori's chalkboard black, like the chalk from, is it General Arts? Mm -hmm. General Arts chalk. So I was thinking, you know, if I could fit that in, I might do that just to, or you could do red floss on white. Um, so I just thought that was really nice and she gave us permission and we're linking directly to her site. So if you're interested in a free stitch along and stitching from your stash, there's that. And then we have a pop-up to show you next for Layla May. So Layla May Designs, they work with Priscilla and Chelsea a lot. And I saw this video yesterday and we immediately, um, you know, asked Priscilla to ask them for permission to talk about this. So if you search Layla May Designs, everything is on Facebook. They don't have a website, it's a Facebook group. So you have to join the group and they are auctioning off this bag. There's a front and a back. That's the front. It's using the free Chicken Joy pattern, cross stitch pattern that's sewn in the bag. This is the back where Priscilla and Chelsea signed it and then the beautiful Layla May logo on the, on the back. And they're having an auction this Sunday, November 10th. It starts at noon Central Standard Time and ends at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's gonna be on a Facebook post the highest bidder wins and they're going to end it at 6 p.m. and then all of the money will be going to make a wish in honor of Patrick who recently um, passed away that is Priscilla's grandson and Chelsea's niece nephew and he got to go on a make a wish trip so that is what they decided to do so if you're interested um, please join their Facebook group they also sell wooden pieces um, the wooden piece that we showed last week with the pumpkin on it was one of their pieces um, and they have auctions once a month where they sell wooden pieces and finished bags. So um, that would be great if you would love to um, bid on this bag. I'm gonna be bidding on it also. Um, so I have it on my calendar Sunday to like get online and bid. So I'm super excited. I hope that they are able to raise a lot of money for that. And then we have some shout outs this week. This is Mary and this is by Stitching Obsessed. This is the small Mary and it's part of Priscilla and Hands On Design pattern. So it's a little piece, so that's super cute. And she has a cute little um, needle minder in that photo. And then we've got next, we've got, this is a Hands On Design pattern called White Christmas. White Christmas. And um, they turn into a pillow and I'm always, oh, it's a, like a pillow ornament, which I'm jealous of because I just don't think I could do that and I love that trim the little trim and then this is sweet Sue Ellen and she, that is the cutest frame okay sweet Sue Ellen can you please email me where you got that frame because Lori and I would both like to buy a lot of those frames that is from Lori's farm girl fall pattern and it is that is I mean like I got to know where that frames from and if you're not watching one of your friends please tell you because we me and Lori not we need to know where that frame is from huh? And then this is uh, Country Cottage Needleworks Mary Mary. Super cute. Oh, and it says she learned finishing tips from me. So that's hilarious because I'm a horrible finisher. But oh. thank you. I am happy that you learned something from me, even though I don't like to do it. <laughs> and then this is so cute. This Chicken Joy is a free pattern that Priscilla and Chelsea designed. If you're interested in stitching that, you would go to priscillas2000.blogspot.com. That's where the free pattern is. And I think this lady, her husband like took something and adjusted it to make this, or her husband helped her make this. 
if I remember right. And then this is Fiona's craft cottage, and she's starting Snow Village. So super excited, and that that um, fabric looks really nice. And then this is also another hands-on design pattern, and what's the name of it? Love My Stitches. Love My Stitches, and um, I had shown that I had made that and turned it into a bag, so um, that's super cute. And there we go. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, I had a lot of stuff for you guys. I hope that we've inspired you in some way. Um, but I did, I got a lot done this week. I was so excited. From Home Mom, will Lori Holt's American Blue 10 count be released soon? Yes, it should be here around the same time as the other. So we're hoping around November 15th to December 1st. And from Becky Gannett, your check? Can you tell us what pattern your table topper is? Oh, okay. This is a free pattern called Maple Leaf, I believe. Yeah, free block pattern. Free quilt block pattern. It is, we have a video for it and it's on our free pattern page at Fat Quarter Shop. And I took four blocks, added a one and a half inch cut, one inch finished sashing and probably a two and a half inch border. And I used farmhouse, to fabric from Big Tree. And I cheated and uh, Nova makes the step outs for this and I think she had made a step out so I took one of her blocks and then added three blocks. So Nova made part of it. But yes, it's a free blog pattern. And so I like to do that, um, just take something and make it a little bit different. You don't always have to make something exactly like you see it. And from Dot Dot Goose, she says, can I buy so many yards when you were showing fabric? Finishing yes, so on the finishing bundles, if you click into the product and scroll down, we list every single pattern in there. Now we could be sold out. You could always just, you know, you have my email, just email me and I can tell you, yes, we can get more or no, we can't. But yes, all of those came from our, our bolts. We cut all of those, so yes. And from Colleen Hoops, what is the picture with the letter Z on the Christmas alphabet pattern? So in the little square, what is like the thing next to the Z? Okay, it's a one, two, three. Let me see. So, yes, so next to the Z, it says one through 10. So can you zoom in, Lily? Yeah. It's the numbers one through 10. And within her pattern, there's also another block you can switch it out to, and it's like a snowflake block. I can't show it to you because it's part of the pattern, and that would give the pattern away and it's not anywhere else that I could show you, but there is an alternate. If you don't wanna do one, two, three, there's a snowflake. I think she might have also meant what's inside the same square like as the Z. The, the motif of the Z, like is it a fit? Okay, that. Some people thought it was a Zeppelin. It is a Zeppelin, okay. and I, um, okay, so here we're gonna tell a story. So okay. I texted Priscilla, Chelsea, and Denise and said, look, I finished a Z. I think it's a fish. And she said, what is it? And I said, well, the pattern says it's a Zeppelin. Uh -oh. And then Priscilla said, a Zeppelin's not a fish, it's a something. What'd she say it was? She I said it was word. something else. Yeah. And then she, and then, she, and I was like, it's not that. So she Googled it and it's a blimp. Yeah. yeah. I never heard of it. Blimp. So it's, I'm calling it a fish. <laughs> and it looks kind of funny because I don't have all my back stitching done. Like this is, it's got some back stitching here. But I'm going to do all my back stitching last. And then the Y is Yuletide, the X we couldn't figure out, and Chelsea figured out it's Christmas. The W is the wreath, and the V, I'm not sure. Because I'm trying to figure it out too, because I'm like, is it a chapel? Vestibule? No. What does that mean? No. English major? <laughs> oh, Lily, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> I've stumped Denise. What, I don't know. Yeah, so as I go, I am trying to figure out. So yes, I think it, I'm just says it looks like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A zeppelin is not a fish. I never heard of a zeppelin. I still yeah, don't know what it is. When I go, it's well, I didn't. A dirigible. Um, is they the same thing? <laughs> She's pulling out vocabulary here. That I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Priscilla and Chelsea said the V is Village Church. Village Church. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Um, and then last question here. There were a few other questions just kind of re requesting us to carry things, so I'm going to pass those on to Denise, so don't okay. think I didn't see them, uh, but they're in my list. And then Donna Simpson says, will the Christmas alphabet fit on the sled ornaments? Good question. You know, question. I don't know 
they seem a little wide. I don't, I don't know. They seem if mm. we have one of them here, don't we? I have one of them downstairs. I don't think it would. Off the top of my head, I don't think so because the 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 fabric that is that you put that on is fourteen count, which is a um, with shell perforated paper which comes in 14 count this is 16 count and I think I don't think it would fit that would be my guess but I don't think it would fit okay and Mary Ar Arnold said think of the Goodyear blimp that's almost a Zeppelin but do they still make them yeah they fell out of popularity because there were a lot of accidents that happened with them but it was a thing for a while okay so mine's a fish <laughs> it looks like a fish um, and then somebody else said the Zeppelin is one of the toys the boys received on Christmas morning from the movie A Christmas Story. That's why there's a Zeppelin as part of Christmas. Oh, okay. Is that an old movie? I don't watch movies. Christmas Story. I'm going to go figure that out. I don't think it's that Actually. old, is it? It's not that old, right? No, okay. I don't watch movies, so I don't know. Okay. I'm going to have to figure that out, though. I'm going to ask my kids. I'm going to go home and say, do you know what a Zeppelin is? And they're going to, I'm going to see if they know. Yeah, let's see if they know. Awesome. So thanks for watching. I hope we've inspired you in some way. We're always coming up with new stuff. Um, so uh, we'll see how much I get done for next week. And y'all have a great week.